folks and welcome creepy kentucky and back from deadpit.com taking a look at another one of these awesome limited edition sets from our good friends over at arrow video check this out wow things the limited edition i think i love you for anybody that didn't grow up in the 90s and was a teenager in the late 90s you don't know the effect that this had on a on a young teenager in high school getting to see right here, right here. See it all, Bulls, all. Everybody was so excited. And this was one of those movies, there were a few of them in junior and senior high school. I think Strip Tease was one. Let's say, hmm, Showgirls, another one. Wild Things after that. These were movies that you're like, oh God. What am I going to see in this? This was 1998 when this movie was made. And it'd been a while since I'd seen this. And it did bring back some fond memories of that time frame. Some of the music that was in this. Just the way the movie was made. Very 90s looking. This movie had not received really a proper home video treatment. I think ever. I think I had a bare bones DVD release. I think it had a bare bones Blu-ray release but really no extras. And that has changed. Our good friends over at Arrow Video has done a kick-ass limited edition of Wild Things. We're gonna look at that. We're gonna look at the movie. Brief synopsis on the movie. Matt Dillon here, who's been in damn near almost every movie, it seems like. He stars as a high school guidance counselor, Sam Lombardo, which in this highfalutin town of Blue Bay in Florida. He's kind of a ladies' man. He's a, he's the man of boot town, as they say in Toronto. You've got the daughter of one of the richest families in the whole town, played by Denise Richards. And you've got here the outcast trailer trash girl, played by Nev Campbell, who does a fantastic job in this movie. Those two, they accuse Sam of rape. And there's kind of a court case there. You've got Kevin Bacon and his partner. They're two detectives that are kind of like, there's something more going on here. And there's a ton of twists and turns along the way. Lots of betrayal. Like so many twists, you're like, when is this going to stop? Right. This movie is a lot of fun. It's different. It's definitely, I think, one of those 90s oddity movies that you're like, there's never going to be movies like this made today you know, in this fashion. John McNaughton is the director of this. And for some reason, like, I kind of knew that, but it was like in the in the back, dusty part of my brain, if you will, baby. And I was like, this is just such an odd movie for John McNaughton to direct. It does not really seem like a John McNaughton movie. The same guy that brought us Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, boys. This is the 4K release. They also did a Blu-ray release of this as well. The 4K of this looks amazing. It looks outstanding. They did a bang-up job with this transfer. It's a 239 to 1 wide, wide aspect ratio. So those always look extra crisp and good, baby. The movie, though, if you've never seen the movie, it's a high recommendation for me. Now, this set is one of the highest recommendations of all the boutique labels going right now, Arrow Video is the one that just kicks it up a notch. None of these other studios are doing this. You have some other studios that, you know, they, they do great transfers, but the packaging is not all there. You've got some studios that do great transfers and they don't even check the spell check when they're making covers, right? And, you know, not to say Arrow's perfect. There's definitely been some recalled items over the years. But if you really consider the amount of product that they dish out every month, it's amazing that they've had such few issues as they've had. Let's take a look at this awesome set here. This is, again, the thick, fat box is what I like to call it. It's chunky. And um, we crack this open here. The alternate artwork on this is the original cover art, which, you know, a lot of boys my age in the 90s had this poster art hanging in their bedroom for a variety of reasons. Open it up there. And of course, like always, Arrow is bringing us some photos. 
You see the Matt Dillon there. Denise Richards, very young Denise Richards, man. That's that's it's crazy. And another Denise Richards. Yeah, I thought so. And there's Nev Campbell's got kind of a golf punk type look in this movie. And the Baconator. Another one of Kevin Bacon. And this is a, a teaser for um, Desperado, which I'm guessing is going to be coming out in 4K um, from Arrow Video at some point in the near future. You get the poster here. If you want to be like some of those horny high schoolers in the 90s, and I know you do, here is a recreation of the original poster and then that newly commissioned art there. And a booklet, boss. A booklet. Has plenty has plenty of good photos and stuff like that. Arrow video, man, like like I said, nobody else goes to this attention to detail on everything that they do. And they release so many of these editions, it's crazy. And I've got quite a large collection of those. As far as extras and stuff goes, the biggest thing is there's two different versions of this movie on here. There's the original theatrical version and the unrated cut. Both of those are in 4K remastered transfers from the original camera negatives provided by Sony Pictures. This does have Dolby Vision HDR10. There's an exclusive new audio commentary with the director John McNaughton and producer Stephen A. Jones. You've got a separate commentary with McNaughton cinematographer Jeffrey Kimball, producer Stephen A. Jones, and Rodney Liber, and Alina Magnini, and score composers. There's a ton of people doing that commentary. And you've got new interviews with McNaughton. You've got a new interview with Denise Richards. Making of documentary, absolutely jam-packed full of extras. If you're a fan of this movie, and if you grew up around the time that I did, more than likely you are, and you've seen it, and you're like, mm, I want to see some of that in 4K. Well, this is the edition that you want to grab. Beautiful set, love that artwork there. Our old video, so it's one more to add to the collection for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Wild Things Limited Edition 4K is out now. Check it out. Check us out over at deadbit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Off your butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do I don't want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. Let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to touch nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you dare yeah. touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. Before this video officially ends, old Curly Jaws has a message for you. Go on over to shop.deadpit.com and go look at their team public store right now got some new shirts like the old curly jaws official t-shirt which is brutal and badass you got the gummy gummy shirt with the captain himself on the shirt the people you got uncle bill's face on a fucking shirt you got the final girl shirt you got all these shirts over at chop.deadpit.com get them before they're all out especially the new one bedtime 1039 it doesn't get better than that so go on out Check out these shirts at shop.deadpit.com. Go look at their team public store. You're going to have a good old time. Get them all. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Deadpit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries exclusive podcasts and much more dead pit on patreon.com if you're interested tiers start at only one dollar 